Hey guys, it's Carlo from Franusic Productions and in today's video I'll show you how to map your own scale using uh, scale effect in Ableton and uh, scale is a very powerful MIDI effect which allows you to constrain every note on keyboard to a desired scale so if you're not too familiar with uh, music theory or uh, you're not into learning music theory right now which takes some time so this effect comes very handy uh, let's dive right in so uh, by the way I'm running Ableton 8 uh, scale lives right here in uh, you'll find it uh, down under MIDI effects and if I click this little triangle you see there is a drop-down menu with some presets they already included and of course uh, C C major is one of the it's one of the easiest scale to memorize because it uses only white keys on a keyboard. So let's try to recreate this C major uh, scale settings. So uh, we're going to bring in uh, like so the uh, scale effect. And what I like to do, I like to uh, bring all these boxes down and we'll start from C uh, Okay, I'm using this this by the way. This is a, this is just an image. It's not an actual keyboard uh, Just for the demonstration purposes mm, So let's say we I mean, I just want to mm, quickly uh, Emphasize that using these following steps that I'm going to show you you can recreate uh, settings for any desired scale and for uh, I'll show you how to do it in C major for a C major uh, scale so let's start uh, as you can see uh, you have all these small boxes and they all represent pitches and let's see how they tra uh, transfer to uh, our keyboard uh, as uh, I already said, we need uh, all the white notes, so we'll start from C, and this is our C note. Uh, what, what basically, what you need to do is leave these first two boxes like like this, because these two boxes they represent C and C sharp. Since we don't need any uh, C sharp. Uh, the note in a C major we're going to leave these down uh, these two first boxes like this and now uh, we need uh, D right we need a note D and how many half steps there are from C to D two right so we're going to count one and two and now we uh, have a this uh, D sharp which we don't need and just w the same thing we did uh, in the previous uh, step we're going to bring this box up to here now we have C D but how about E uh, how many half steps there are from C to E four right one two three four so we're going to c uh, count one two three four because now this is our E pitch but now please be careful because as you can see there is only one half steps between E and F so we are going to uh, focus on another pitch it's F uh, there are five steps I mean high five half steps from C to F and therefore we are going to count one two three four five and since we have F sharp we don't need it uh, we are going to bring this little boy here and this represents now pitch F and now we need a G right so how many half steps there are from C to uh, G 7 right so again show you how to count that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and what we need to do come here and count 1 two three four five six seven since we have a G sharp we don't need it we're going to bring this puppy here and now we have our G how about a 
we're going to count how many again how many half steps it's a, yeah it, it is a little tedious process but that's what you need to do if you don't uh, otherwise you can memorize these uh, these half steps so one two three four five six seven eight nine we have nine half steps from uh, C to A and what I'm going to do, what are we going to do count here one two three four five six seven eight nine and this is our A now how about this note right here we don't need it right it's a A sharp so we're going to just bring this guy here and this is our eight and we are left with B so we're going to count now I already know there are 11 half steps but just to make sure let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven so we're going to count from here eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven uh, now we have our scale mapped for a C major scale and now if you come here to a MIDI uh, editor you basically any note that you play on your keyboard you uh, you don't have to worry because they are all, all notes in a, that belong to a C major scale so just to just to be sure that we did the right job we are going to compare this is the one I made with the one that they included and this is their preset so let's go uh, let's compare against the mine and let's see what we got okay is this see same 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 boom same thing right so we got the same results now uh, as I said if you follow these steps uh, counting the half steps on a, on a keyboard uh, you are going you, you'll be you'll be able to recre uh, recreate um, um, settings to uh, for any desired scale you, you'd like to compose your music in uh, I hope you find this uh, video useful and if you like it please subscribe and until the next episode okay take care now